Welcome back to Dedekind Cuts. The IMO 2023 will be held in a couple of weeks time and what better way to prepare for the IMO than to look at some shortlist problems. So today we'll be taking a look at a problem from the 2021 shortlist and I've chosen a combinatorics problem because I know some of us are afraid of these problems due to their ad hoc nature. But I want to show the point that actually some of these problems have solutions that can be easily motivated. So just need to stay calm and try and find a reasonable way of attacking the problem and you'll be able to develop the solution. So without further ado, let us take a look at what this problem is saying. So here we have n greater than or equal to 3 be an integer. You have access to infinitely many marbles of colors 1 to n. We say that m greater than or equal to m plus 1 is colorful. If you can place m marbles around a circle, such that every group of m plus 1 consecutive marbles contains all colors. So let's pause here for a while to digest the previous statement. So over here we have n equals to 4 colors. Uh, as a illustration and I want to show is m equals to 9 colorful well in this case m equals to 9 is colorful because I can put 9 marbles around a circle such that every group of 5 marbles uh, contains all colors so this consecutive 5 marbles here has all the colors so does uh, this consecutive uh, this collection of 5 consecutive marbles and so on so n equals to 9 here is colorful. Okay, what is the question? The question is to prove that there are only finitely many positive integers which are not colorful and find the largest not colorful integer. Okay, just something quick to keep in mind uh, as we go along, which is that if you have n plus 1 uh, marbles containing all n colors, then it must be the case that uh, there's exactly one color that appears twice in that block and all the other colors appears only exactly once in that block. Okay, just something useful to keep in mind as we go along. Okay, so how would you go about approaching this problem? Well, one possible idea that you might explore is uh, can I come up with a construction that will make M a colorful number? So you have M marbles is there some easy way I can just produce a construction, place that around a circle so that this uh, condition here is fulfilled? So let's start exploring possible constructions. So the first construction you might think of is I just put the colors 1 to n and then I keep cycling through them. So this seems to, uh, this seems to be a good idea because if you take a look at any stretch of n plus 1 consecutive marbles, indeed you definitely cover all the colors, but there's a small problem towards the end. See, the thing is, m might not be a multiple of n, so if you write m as a quotient uh, times n plus a remainder r, then there's some leftovers over here, and these leftovers turns out to be a problem for this construction, because if you have, let's say, r equals to 2, then where you go 1, 2, and then you wrap around to the start of the circle again, you have 1, 2 again, then you just produce two colors that have already repeated themselves. So this goes against the observation that we said, uh, and this means that this condition does not get fulfilled, right? So we can see that this, all these leftovers here, that's out to cause a problem. So is there a way that we can remedy this quite easily? Well, Think of this as uh, R tokens that we need to redistribute away. Then how about just putting one token into each block here and hopefully that can try and solve the problem. So more concretely, what you will do is you will take uh, the first R blocks, right? We actually stick in an extra one. So this gets rid of the R extra counts that we need to distribute here. And then for the remaining blocks, we just use the normal one to end. Does this construction work? Well, indeed it does because if you take any cognitive blocks of what, uh, of n plus 1 marbles, you'll see that it will indeed cycle through all the colors again, except the, re with the repeated color being 1, right? So 1 is the repeated color. If you start with like 4, you go, you go all the way to 3 here, and then, uh, 1, 1 is the 
like repeat. So you can check that all these, all the blocks here will end up fulfilling the requirement and so does the blocks that loop around. Well, in order for this redistribution trick to work, right, you actually need one condition, which is that you need to have Q bring the number of blocks greater than or equal to R, which is the number of tokens to redistribute. So this construction will work as long as Q is bigger than or equal to R. So in summary, what we have done is we produce a construction where M greater than or equal to M minus 1 times N is colorful. And why is this the bound? Well, if M is at least this, then if we write uh, M as QM plus R, the remainder R, notice that by definition of the remainder, it is at most N minus 1. But at the same time, Q uh, is at least N minus 1. So indeed, we have Q greater than or equal to R for all of these numbers over here. So we have just proven the first part of the problem, which is that only finitely many positive integers will not have a good construction. Because this construction here works for all these uh, M's. Okay, but this doesn't solve the next part of the problem uh, because it doesn't mean that the next smaller number will not be colorful. But it does give you a good hypothesis. So we want to try whether this next smaller number will it like actually fail. To put things into perspective, uh, if you write this as qn plus r, indeed r here is bigger than q, so the previous construction doesn't work. That gives us some hope, but we need to show that every single construction actually doesn't work. So how do we motivate the solution for this part? Well, as always, it's actually useful to try small solutions. So the smallest solution here we have is n equals to 3, and the corresponding m is uh, m equals to 5. So if you try and uh, put marbles around the circle, you'll notice that actually there's uh, one color that will only appear once or not even appear at all. So there seems to be a color that appears at most once. And why is this an issue? Well, if you look at the other four marbles, then they are consecutive and do, they will not co contain that color. So indeed, this is a problem. And it seems that the underlying situ issue uh, is that you no, know, there's a color that appears two later times. So indeed, we can generalize this logic to our general situation as follows. Well, it turns out that by thinking about it, there must be a color that only appears at most n minus two times. This is the rare color. Uh, why? Because if every color appears at least n minus one times, if n minus one times the number of colors, then it will be n minus one n, which will already be greater than m. Right, so this uh, situation here must hold. And let's try to take a look at what the construction will look like in such a situation. Well, in between uh, any two consecutive uh, rare color, let's say the red color is red. So at, in between any two consecutive red marbles, uh, there can be only at most n marbles. Because once you have n plus 1 marbles, then the stretch will not have uh, red and it will contradict uh, the requirement that over here, right? So at most n marbles in between every two uh, red marble, which means that the total number of marbles is at most n times the number of gaps, which is n minus 2, plus the red marbles themselves, which is uh, at most n minus 2. And this number here is 1 smaller than m. So this gives a contradiction that we required. So indeed, this part of the problem is also quite easily motivated once you take a look at the small case and then try to figure out what is the stumbling block and how to generalize that logic. So that is all for today's video. I hope you found the video fun and educational. So if you enjoyed this video, do subscribe to the channel and stay tuned to the channel for more math videos. See you soon.